Hello and welcome back. Uh, tonight, we are looking at the Rhoda Sea Torture Wheel Demon. So this is, uh, for those of you tuning in for the first time, we are making a shmup or a shooter or a shoot -em up classic uh, side-scrolling gameplay, a little bit of bullet hole mixed in there. And um, we've been learning how to just tech art and, and uh, we're directing some of our enemies. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's jump into it and take a look here. First of all, Dimitri, wonderful artist. Mwah, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciated the, the render and kind of what we have uh, going on here. So uh, just a quick, um, a quick catch up here. So here we are with um, essentially the guys that are in the game, they, they come up out of the sea and they shoot these spines. And I, I kind of like the shape. I like it as, as like this weird gooiness. It's all pixel art. This is from a game called um, Tales of Destiny. Uh, it was an RPG, I think, back on the PlayStation. Um, and it had a lot of uh, cool looking pixel art. So I saw some of that. I was like, ooh, maybe this could be like a neat little proxy while we imagine our own versions. I like the shape. I like the spines, thing coming from the sea. And so we started there tech it into the game to get the gameplay kind of feeling right and then we did a version of um of our wheel designs and uh, from there we did another round of feedback and then we did a color pass here which you guys can see right kind of figuring out which colors work for us we experimented with them kind of added in these horns and um so yeah so we did a little bit of uh, iteration on kind of what the the face will do we're going to animate this of course as well so it spins um not on a frame by frame animation it'll spin because it's a it's a sprite that we're rotating with the engine um and uh, then we'll do some frame animation for the mouth you know probably screaming and whatnot so and uh so we did a version here of the wheel and where we uh in we made a choice between the different horns and got uh, we adjusted our color palette and then here's our first render and so um, with that, I also did a little bit of origin text. I won't read it this time around, but um, but um, yeah, I, it's uh, well, maybe I'll just read it. I'll just read it. I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. So here's the origin text. The Rota Sea Torture Wheel Demon. Here, I'm gonna put it over here, and then you can look at this guy. Yeah, cool. I'll make that bigger on that side too. Uh, this might be a little too loud too. Let me turn this down just a tiny bit. It's a little, it's a little out of my ear balls. All right, uh, one second. Yeah. There we go. That feels a little bit better in my ear holes. All right, so here we go. The Road to Sea Torture Wheel Demon were some of the earliest explorers that had heard the whispering dreams of Cerebus. They were often sea pirates looking for rumored vast treasure troves of thousands of dead heroes and power. When nearing Cerebus Island, Great sea beasts transformed from Srebus' seeping dreams became some of the first guardians and contributors to Srebus' great titanic demonic dreams. These sea horrors with tentacles, great kraken-like beaks, rose up, destroying all ships for hundreds of years that dared approach Srebus' island. The dead and dying pirates drowning in the sea were ferried to the great underwater temple where merfolk priests of Srebus would use dark magics to tie their souls to the newly created demon realm. The rituals created bridges to the demonic realms to feed power to Srebus. Their first task, the Rhoda, uh, upon the ritual's completion was to create their own torture wheels. They would fashion these torture wheels from their broken ships, flaying their own flesh and binding it to their wheels that would forever spin in the sea tides. Their essence transformed them into guardians on the approach to Srebus' island to ensure that only the strongest heroes could become the people of Srebus. So we did a little flavor text. So it's a lot of flavor text for um, how and why they're here. Srebus is this great demonic titan we've talked about a little bit before, but it's all this weaving of these things into this interesting tapestry and the game is kind of pulling it all together. So super fun. Uh, Dimitri, I, I put that flavor text in the card as well. So uh, without further ado, uh, Dimitri, one of the things that I did is um, I wanted to change, let's take a, take a look here. Yeah, uh, bloop. I wanted to change the size of the tentacles uh, because I think these tentacles are gonna be like wavy tentacles. I want them to like, you know, to wave and and uh, and, and catch the eye. So all, more of an animation pit, but um, I kind of shrank them down and uh, made them longer so we can take, you know, they, they should have definitely creating a little bit longer silhouette. The spikes are great. Everything else is great. I really enjoy the the render. I love the, the texture, how things are, are coming together. And with that, I think that's really the main uh, piece of feedback. So why don't I kick us over to uh to this so um i very uh, let's see here all right cool make sure i'm pushing the right buttons 
Push the right button. Um, there we go. All right. So I put these guys in engine because we already had the, the placeholder, right, with the, the previous ones. And this was just to get a kind of a sense for uh, where they're at. I'll get smashed by my own enemies here. And I think I'm going to boost their size a tiny bit. But yeah, this is them. We'll probably make the projectiles bigger since they're going to have a lot more um, a lot more presence on screen. I still might go with uh, their actual size, which is 128 by 128. Oh my god. I can't do it. I can't make it. Hang on. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, it'll be fun. I think these guys are also a case where we can probably just pop the head off and break apart the pieces like splinters um, when when they die as well. So, and uh, let's let's roll this back here. Room, room. All right, yeah, because they they're off screen, so they don't. They're nothing is is actually. I could probably do it like this, but it doesn't matter. So. Um, so I took a look at the different sizes. This is their, their normal size. We might stay with this size. I'm kind of playing with it. We might boost it. Nothing for you, Dimitri. I, I'll do this all on engine side. But I boosted the ones we were looking at there um, by 50%. So 50% uh, scaled up from their normal 128 by 128. So I like where we're at. I like the silhouettes. I like the color. I like we're getting this kind of demonic you know, like essence bits. And um, I think, yeah, those are the main pieces of feedback. So I'm looking forward to the turnaround. Thanks for every head after that. Man, speaking this evening is tough. Thank you, everybody who's been watching and uh, following the channel and asking questions and just sharing. It has been tremendous fun. And uh, if you have anything you'd like to know, any questions, uh, just put them down in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.